Hello everyone, welcome at ISO Academy. We already have a tutorial about file sync on Windows, but this time we will have a look at file sync installation and configuration on macOS. To download the file sync client for your macOS, just go to isor.com website, there to download section. And continue to applications. Right below the ISOR desktop suite, there is a file sync section where you can download macOS installer. I have already downloaded one, so let's have a look how to install it. To install file sync on your macOS, just open the downloaded file. This will mount file sync installation into your Mac. All you have to do now is to drag ISOR file sync icon into applications shortcut. That should automatically open your applications window where you can check the installation process. Once the installation is done, you have to sign in with your iSERP account, so the synchronization can start. First, check whether FileSync is running. As you can see, FileSync is not synced yet, so we have to sign in first. Once the FileSync client is running, you should be able to see its icon on top right corner of the screen. Let's open it from here and select Sign In. This should open you a wizard which will guide you through the sign-in process. You can select your language on top right corner, then agree with license agreement and click Next. Now fill in your email address, followed by the password. This will, as in all other apps from iSERP, start the process of getting configuration from your server using iSERP Smart Discover technology. If everything is configured correctly, you should within a few moments receive confirmation and follow with next steps of sign-in process. Otherwise, you can use manual setup to configure connection details manually. If going manual, click Next and fill server details, username and password manually. After proceeding to the next step, you can select destination folder where all synchronized files would be stored on your Mac. And also add this folder into your favorites to have it easily accessible. Now you can select what data you would like to synchronize, whether your data only or also shared data like public folders, shared folders and so on. And that's it. Now the synchronization process starts and depending on your account size and connection speed, you should be able to see synchronized content within a few moments. Last thing to mention is the menu of file sync. Once you will open it using your icon on top right corner of the window, you can change language, storage location, finder integration, specify what to synchronize, manage notifications, or decide whether file sync should start automatically with your Mac or not. And then, once you open Finder, you should see your folder in Favorites, and in there, files from your iSORP account. Since now you can easily upload files to iSORP just by dragging and dropping in here. So enjoy and thank you for your attention. See you in the next video. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend your next video, which is as well related to iSORP. So see you there. Bye bye.